guys we are finally back again for another one a saturday edition on this year mr Lix reacts channel guys big up all the mr Lix family for tuning in to yet another reaction video and the newcomers are there big up yourself as well the newcomers out there big up yourself as well for tuning into this year reaction video of course guys we have a number of things that we we gotta be talking about i was not going to be doing a video today considering i just dropped the vlog as well as the aerial drone uh, a shot i know a number of persons will say mr Lix, you need to go up in the sky and whatnot brothers and sisters i did go up in the sky but it was not with the proper drone right there the drone that can actually do a number of things in this regard i went up with the dji drone and of course there was some interesting stuff taking place in the in the bushes brothers and sisters which we still believe believe today that there might have been somebody there and the person may have escaped or something like that For, man i tell you it was kind of crazy Right there, of course, that link will be in the first comment in the comment box below. The Mr. Lix vlog video that I dropped today. And of course, the aerial drone video as well. You guys definitely need to check it out. Of course, they coincide with each other. Each other the aerial video as well as the drone, uh, the vlog video as well. Anyways, guys, uh, uh, Mr. Lix, well, somebody commented on my Mr. Lix reacts channel. This channel right there. Stating three days and no solid leads at all. Now it's raining, making these conditions more difficult. Three days and we can't find... The, the little one right there. Three days, brothers and sisters. This was yesterday. The individual stated this last um, last night, pretty much, when I dropped the other video. But it's rather interesting what is taking place, brothers and sisters. Rather interesting what is really taking place right there. And for some strange reason, even when I went to do the, the search as well, we, and, and talking to a number of persons that day, I never mentioned it to them. But they're saying there's something strange happening, brothers and sisters. And of course, the first uh, Mr. Lix vlogs has dropped today. Hopefully, I'll drop the other one tomorrow. The second part of it, of course, the first one was when we did with the, the biological father. And of course, the whole situation taking place in Warner. But we went um, further down to the, the, the Bells area. And of course, did a number of um, uh, searching down there. That will be in the second one. But guys, I don't know. But we were talking to each other and there's something, we find something strange. One of the things that they mentioned is stating that there's not much Bells people going around because they're saying that most of the people who come in are from other outside regions and they don't really know the area to say, okay, this is where we have to go and this kind of thing. That's one of the things that I noticed. I'll be talking about this. I'll be talking about it right there. I'm trying my best to slow down how I speak, brothers and sisters. But that is a very disturbing thing. Where, why, why aren't the Bells people helping as they should be helping? Because people are complaining now. Don't get me, um, I'm wrong. I'm not saying that they're not. It's just that we have not noticed any one of them actually helping and showcasing. Because one of the things that one of the individuals were pointing out, stating that we don't know the bushes. We are just going in the bush willy-nilly trying to see if we hear or see something or some sort of clue. Some people are showing shoes on the ground and thinking, hey, maybe it's that. No. Brothers and sisters, there are a number of persons who actually live in the bush. And they live different things all over the place. So it's not necessarily saying that this is the person known. And furthermore, how do we know whose egg, whose um, 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 shirt and, and shoes and, and nighty or whatever is that person's own? Are we doing forensics? Are we doing any DNA tests on these things? How do we know? So where exactly are we? That's to tell you how far we are lacking in Dominica. We are lacking greatly in the nature of the Caribbean when it comes down to these things. And this is not the first time that this has happened. We've been asking ourselves questions in this regard. Anyways, guys, moving along. Right there. This individual apparently came up on Curtis. Curtis was having a talk with him. And he is speaking about the little youth. And this is what he's saying right there. Saying right there. As long as a 12-year-old child is safe somewhere. And very soon from now, I have some breaking news, but I, I keep it still. <laughs> Let me go back, brothers and sisters. As long as a 12-year-old child is safe somewhere. So this individual who's dressed in some sort of I don't know what that is, but this is an indication of some sort of security vibes, I'm guessing. He's stating that he has some information, breaking news, that the little one is safe somewhere, but he's not at liberty to say. So you mean to tell me people are all over the place searching black and white, and you have some information that you're not telling people? So police don't go after Mr. Yet? Eh? No, no, man. Mr. may be mad. I don't know if he's mad or not, but if you have information and you're saying, fella, and you're saying these things, you mean police look after Mr. Yet? To find out where exactly having people going bush, getting bet, beaten by betush, and all kind of crazy stuff? Who have how much caught on their body because of razor bush blade? Boy, let me continue. And very soon from now, I have some breaking news, but I, I keep it still <laughs> until further notice. Breaking news in terms of what? In terms of the child. You have some breaking news. Now you are saying something very significant. He's saying something very, very important right there in truth. 
if he knows information, I think the, the, the police should go after him. What are your thoughts, guys? Have you relayed that to the police? I have not related to the police, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> But, and the man at ground zero, we, the man at ground zero level, we are not relating things to people and have people going out all over the place to search. Come on, people. Uh, Mister probably have a problem, boy. Um, there's somebody who will be related to the police on, at due time. I think the due time is now, eh? Because based on that very question right there, three days and no solid flows except um, leads. Only this guy. Talking about you have breaking news, but you can't say it, you have somebody else have to say it. Somebody who will be related to the police on at due time. Police need to go for Mr. You have some information. Anyways, guys, um, so a number of persons have been saying a number of things. I don't know if this guy is okay or whatnot, but a number of persons were saying a number of things. This one is one of my former classmates in college right there. And of course, he has a number of things to say uh, according to the whole situation right there. So a man tell a story about a madman take a little youth from him and everyone, everyone just run with it. How are we so sure that the man not part of it? Interesting question. This is one of the things that I stated before because it doesn't seem like this individual is doing this on his own. Especially considering the things that led up to the situation that then happened because he was, you know, I mentioned how the police interacted with him and they allowed him to go and then this situation happened. What if I... What if, and I'm not saying that all the police, boy, I tell you, boy, it's an interesting thing, eh? Because if you're trying to look at it from all angles and saying the possibility and probability factor according to blessings, are the police working along with the very man that they're looking for? And on the basis of sending police out there, maybe the people at the top know exactly what's going on, but to make it seem like it's a normal occurrence in this, they're sending the police out there to go and search in the bush, even though they know that he's not out there. I'm just saying the probability factor. Because I'm trying to figure it doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make sense, brothers and sisters. But anyways, a lady, and, and, uh, how you saw, how you saw he's not part of it. She right where he living in bush from the village with no neighbors. Why stay back in church after 10 p.m.? No eyewitness. A lady give the whole rundown on a voice note of what happened like she was there. Everybody having empty visions. People in bush just going in circles. I agree the last part. People in bush going circ in circles. Because one of the things that they don't have is the bells people actually, okay, he used to go up there and just kind of used to go that area. What, what's going on? People, I, we, we don't have that information at all, at all. Because we were just going all of, I was there yesterday, you know, guys. We were just going all kind of place and we don't know what's going on. We, we, we go there, we look in and see if we see movement. We saw a couple movements in the place and was going to wonder what's going on and even sending up drone to do all kind of things. And we're just going in circles. The police tells themselves, don't, we'll talk about it in a moment, brothers and sisters. But anyways, well, my, my first vision, well, my first vision, what? Well, my first vision is pinch all yourself and rewind a little. Start from, I guess, the beginning. So many stories are confused. Villagers from Bell say the little one is the, the madman child. That's rather interesting right there. And that is not a thing I was telling fellas. Make sure your child is your own, eh? Because a woman can say that is your child and she probably did something with another fella and that is probably the, the partner child and say it's your child because you have some sort of betterment with it. But anyways, even that situation, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so, the demon child, her mother disappeared now. The ancestors send for her daughter. I don't know, what are you on there, but hey. Um, was, I'll tell you guys how she disappeared and everything like that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that story in a moment. Was there ever a report of the, the, the little youth's missing mother? Because apparently, apparently she, she, the mother, the biological mother actually went missing. Remember the little girl, the little one is staying with an adopted parent figure. A parent's figure. Right there. So the biological mother um, is nowhere to be seen. She apparently disappeared somewhere. We'll talk about, it in, talk about that in a moment. I feel the authorities should check the the little youth's birth certificate at registry to help in that investigation i think dna tests should be doing be, be done man and see if you, you can track but then again dominica is so limiting already inside bells herself dark and myself and huh inside bells herself dark and mysterious true we actually turned off the lights a few times when we we're traveling out and it's just new ac darkness like you cannot see you can have your hand in front of you brothers and sisters if all the lights off well, when you're passing your vehicle, you put your hand in front of you, you not see nothing. We tried that a few times, man. And we even pick up a Haitian guy going down that the first time when we went up there. 
and we pick up a Haitian guy. And if it wasn't for the lights, myself, I don't know what we don't know how Mister was walking on the road. <laughs> but anyways, it wasn't for the lights that were there from the vehicles and stuff passing. Mister probably end up losing himself too. He was on the search. He was going. He went to search for the girl as well. Anyways, inside cell, uh, bells dark and blah blah blah. Uh, who take their precious time and money materials and build a shack for the man? That's a good question right there. Because apparently um, 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 he has a house he was staying in. Not shack. There was a wall house he was staying in in his um, um, parents' vicinity. But I think he had another place up there. So who built this for him? Uh, the very same men, the very same man, they say that is a diab there. He's trying to take people and other villages. Interesting. Have anyone, has anyone even taken a look at those ancient zombie signs that the man write on the thing there, on the, on the wall, and understand that we could be dealing with a, a, a disciple of the zombie himself, the real zombie? Well, we know he's a zombie already, eh? so I mean, <clears throat> think it's me all you going, so I guess this guy is saying, he, not me, they, he deal with zombie and thing, all you going to send man in bush and go circle and next thing things happen to me, man disappearing. This is one of the things I noticed yesterday. They were actually counting the amount of people that was in the group. So if anybody go missing, let's like say there's 13 and then you go in and 12, you have to go back and find number 13, man. <laughs> go back and find the sheep. Yes, brothers and sisters. So, um, so you mean a madman come one and demand that the little one be handed over just so? This ish may be deeper than we thought. I think it's very deep. I think there's zombie vibes going on there. And there's also... Maybe other people in society, leaders in society, as well as the people of Bells are actually covering up because there's no on earth that people can be professionals and have thousands of people going in bush to look for people looking for signs and they don't see nothing. Nah, man, Mr. Must be in a house somewhere. Yes, sir. Mr. Must be in a house somewhere, brothers. And guys, mark you, sometimes when you go in the bush, we're coming out. Some people going back in the same bush to say they're going higher and come back down to search. And people going back and forth and all those kind of things. There's nothing. Nothing. Come on, man. Mister, I think Mr. being um, in somebody's house and all the villagers probably protecting him. If he's in Jumbi, maybe that other Jumbi people too in, in, in Bells and they're protecting him and the youth. Who knows? You can't just disappear just like that bare darkness. Well, he's a military guy and knows about the bush and whatnot. But Mark, come on, man. Come on. I was going to say something about the little youth. How would he carry the little youth for, for how much hours in that darkness there? On his shoulder, she, you mean to tell me nobody was making noise, screaming, or like maybe you'll try and bar her mouth or something like that? Uh, and just carry up. But how you walking in a densely forest area, bush, and just walking with somebody on your, in your shoulder and something for hours at a time and you just disappear from the place? Nobody's seen you? Nobody's seen you? Nah, man. When people sleeping and thing, you'll say. But nobody you know here, no noise, nothing like that in the area. Deep man, deep in sleep like that, nah man. Something have to be wrong somewhere. So you mean a madman come on, blah blah blah. Um, anyways, let me read the last line. Too much puppy show going on. I agree. Block off one road and allow only equipped, trained or essential individuals. I think that's what they were doing at the checkpoint. They were blocking off individuals. So if you you coming through, you have to actually leave there and stop. But they actually let us go through because we are media people and those kind of things. Anyways. Um, train the essential people to go and search and provide a vehicle um, uh, provide a vehicle and assist and, and, and assign teams a set of roadblock traffic uh, traffic jam C1 Papi Show man in bush posing for camera and laughing if the man really in the bush he hear, hearing everybody we what? people even set setting up bars so Saturday someone will set up a speak and play music too. I fed up with all you boy. But according to my late mom, leave let me leave well where well is eh? <laughs> let me leave well where where well where where well is right there. It's I don't know. It's a it's an interesting thing right there. But I want you I want to put you guys out to this particular situation that 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 was on uh I think in ministry ministry um, thing I'll post the link of that in the description below so you guys can check it out. This is what an individual who was actually at the ground zero level is staying right there. Oh, this is not a social party. She's saying this is not a social party because it seems like that. It seems like it's a, so a social party, a gathering. Hey, we come and get free food and thing because food selling there. 
Remember, remember the individual I was asking, asking, look, this is him right there. And it's a party that day. Look what that is. There's a party people like come to and like eat you know. and drink right there because that people that well dress as though it's carnival. <laughs> That's not carnival. That's to look for the little girl. Not yeah, good. I think it's a gathering to come together and then break people up in groups and then you send them out different places. But every time you pass, you see in the place, the ground zero place full of people. Even when I just come, when we came there the first time, it had a lot of people there. Some people say they went out and whatnot, but it seems like some people actually coming in to come and get some free food. I haven't heard people call him coming there early in the morning for them to get some breakfast and they're going back where they come from. They don't come and search. They come and get free food for them to go back and for them to go back where they come from. I heard somebody came and they, they get a free food, a free breakfast, and they go work afterwards. They don't come and search. They have free food in the place. Hey, let me come through. That's not that that's no wonder we're not going nowhere. Because the very search teams themselves are lacking. Police says don't even know what they're doing. But we'll talk about it in a moment. To eat. But you have to eat your body need energy. Bring right there because that people that wear dress as though it's carnival. That's not carnival. That's to look for the little girl. It's not to eat. I agree. Because even when I was coming back yesterday and we passed through the, the same ground zero to go home. Um, we saw people looking like it's not bush, they come in to come to go. They looking like they come to see they can get some nice girls with their nice clothes and bling chain that they have on them. How oh, you have bling chain going to look for people in bush? <coughs> yes, father. But well, you have to eat or your body need energy. Walk with your snack. I have my snack and two clothes, two t-shirt, two shoes, and parasita and everything. I sure they don't have that. They have a whistle. <laughs> they don't even have a whistle to indicate faith. No, you don't even have these things. Huh? That is if the authorities even tell people about having whistles. So if in case you see something, you can whistle. Or if you're in trouble, if so, if the man find you, the man have military training. The man find you, you can blow a whistle at least, Mark Wester. At least a whistle to blow and indicate, hey, we heard a noise. What's going on up there? Let's go there and see what's up. They don't teach you people no type of training, nothing like that. So you are ready to go back in the bush, so where you are ready to go in the bush. Where Anyways, let's go back to the lady right there. I heard you a little while ago, you were quite passionate. And you were saying, well, they are gathered here, but you think they should be moving already? We need to be moving already. We need to be going somewhere. Yep. The child is somewhere now with this monster, right? Why are we here like chickens without a head? We have no information. Look at them at the back. I think they said they were waiting for, 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 for um, the authorities to tell him some kind of stuff. But you constantly seeing people there. It means somebody missing and a set of people where the food is. All the time like that? Come on, man. Something wrong. No updates. Where do we go right now to find, to, to possibly find this child? But they themselves probably don't even know. The professionals, the search team themselves don't even know. If it wasn't for the drone that I put up yesterday, we never know to go and find out and see what's going on on top there. Man going and searching place and only a particular part they pass in, passing. A particular part they pass in, they don't come in through the place to see if they see anything. The man could be somewhere hiding. This is one of the reasons why I tell you guys, we still believe today that the guy was on top there. But you don't want to force people to go and think, it's, you, you're not the professional right there. But we were hearing noises on top there. And we asked them if they go there, they said, say no. They have to come through the thing, go through the whole top of the thing. Set your people out, one, make a line or something and take your time and go through, come through the thing. One, two people up there and, and, and then afterwards you come into the man could be under some bushes, hiding himself. You look, you don't see nothing. But if you was coming through the thing, making sure everything go good, then most likely you, you might see something. But anyways. Of course nobody knows where she is, but everyone here has a brain. You know, I was talking with some people on the way up. This man has a drug habit. Good, good thing right there. If he has a drug habit, he's addicted to it. And therefore would want to get that drug again. True or false? So if that is the case, then you need to find out his connections. But then his connections might end up going to jail. For selling illegal substances or providing illegal substances. So he's going to be after people who are selling drugs or people who he has known, you know, who he's bought drugs from, wherever True. they are. 
you know, because that is the logic of this mind. At least have a place where you can have some sort of reference. So he must come back somewhere. Where are the people who deal with the, 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 the illegal substances? Where, where are they? Who is an addict right now? Who hasn't had drugs or whatever it is? In who, who knows where I'm just... So he wants to get it. Unless he's actually getting it from the people that are helping him. Because today we still believe that people are helping this guy. It's impossible. There's something going on, brothers and sisters. You know, but we have to, to, to have facts. We have to have clues. We have to have information. We can't be sitting here like it's a dumb party. Yep. Eating here and drinking here while this child is nowhere to be found. And then coming in solidarity with the people and um, pretending as if you care. You only come there for the food. I heard that twice. You know, the first time I went there in the night time, they say people come there for dinner. When I came back the next time, the people say they come for if people are come for breakfast and go down. They say they witness it themselves. People come inside, they have free breakfast. They come there for breakfast and go where they go in, go wherever they go in, go back home and go and go and work. That that is the, 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 the and we expect to go somewhere from that. Come on, people. I went in there to, to ask for answers, and you know these. Yeah, well, just, just, keep, just keep it a little because remember your life. Just try to make no, 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 no. Well, I am, I am unfiltered and I am very free. So do not direct me right now. Do not put shackles on the woman. Free up yourself. You are, you're free to shut off your camera at any time. Okay, but I went in there and these police officers are sitting down. Sitting down in their meeting. I'm like, excuse me, can you someone come out here to tell us? What is going on? Where we can go right now? What we can do right now to find this child? Yep. What 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 is the information that is being put forward? What is the information? She go inside to try to find the information for people. They themselves might not even know. Furthermore, what police officers doing inside there? Should it be a handful of people that there and the people this this officers going out in the bush and thing? What they doing there? And it had plenty of them there on the on the miss check out the Mr. X vlogs video I dropped guys. When I pass in I had my camera up. You see a number of them there. Well they probably just reach and stuff to go and see if they're doing things and whatnot. But every time I pass there, I seen I seen officers there. This not so not in the bush, they're supposed to be now. Or each of them in groups, they are different groups. We had a group and we had no officer with us. There are a number of other people that we saw. You guys will see it in the video that's coming out tomorrow. Where were the officers? I'm not saying that some of them won't think, but because in the first, very first um, um, vlog video that I dropped today, you saw them out there doing their thing. So some of them actually doing something. But what about the others do? And if they're saying that they are 400, they, yesterday they said, yesterday, or the day before they said the Prime Minister say, all hands on deck. All hands on deck. So that means about, let's say, four, if there are 500 officers, at least 400 officers supposed to be coming and, and searching the bush. It didn't have all that nether. No, if it have a hundred or a hundred, I would say. But come on, man. This officer comes and pushes me, touches me, hmm. pushes me physically out of this space. And you come in to help. And they're pushing you when you're trying to ask questions. This is not my words, you know. So look at say, Mr. Lick say, this is what she said, her experience. Actually, they were waiting a, a word from the dogs, as they said, because the, the French men are here. Tell me that. Communicate. Don't... Ah! Just give this video a thumbs up for this woman. She said, tell me that. Communicate. Have your speakers on there, guys. We heard about the whole incident taking place where the dogs are not able to do these things. Of course, we, this is what's going to happen. They're going to be going back. But this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to set up different groups or different places. Some will take this way. Some will take this way. Some will take this way. And we'll go out there because we are very limited in our resources and technology that we have. Even though we have one of the drones that are the thermal thing in, in, inside the earth. But anyways. But set up different groups to go different places and take your time. You go out there. You spend an hour, two hours. Mark ways are hold it. Three days. Push me out. Who are they? We're all just concerned people right now, right? All working together. So where? And you can hear her accent. Her accent hasn't changed to Dominica, no matter how long she has been in Dominica. And I suspect she has been in Dominica for a minute. I can tell on from from the look for look on her. But she's coming to help and and, and trying to find information. And that is the thing we we doing right now. Where where would you be heading today? Where are you from actually? Where I'm I'm, I'm from. I'm. 
relocated to Dominica a year ago, okay? So I, I am relying on information. That's why the accent is there. From people I speak with, people who are local here, people who know this man. And I, I feel your passion this morning. I really feel that you're really concerned. You feel your passion, you really feel she's going to what? 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 Oh, it's this guy must be an amateur. Anyone who's not really concerned right now is an animal. <laughs> and I, I, that's why I was wondering that like the fact that it has to come to this shows the nature of our culture and our society in Dominica. Because we have a sick society, we have a lawless society. Okay, and everybody is afraid of the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Because why was this man allowed to menace and torment and terrorize the community for two weeks before this? Hey, whole year! And terrorizing Rosa too. Come on. The same police officer who physically pushed me out of this tent did hmm. something. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. The fact that we're all sitting down here. Take a look around, please. People are just chilling. Talking, who gathering, talking about that one said probably chicken boy, I want to get a malt inside there. People are chilling, they're supposed to go out, nobody telling them nothing. Time has been wasted. We come there, we never we, we we only pass through there, you know, brothers and sisters. We never stop there. We pass through there. I'm not saying that everybody that was there they didn't go out and thing. But this is not a gathering spot for people to just come and chill and thing. You come, you see what's up, you talk to the people, they tell you what you need to do and this kind of things. They're getting your light if you have the nighttime shift, afternoon shift, whatever it is. We even have to give one of the partners um, 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 one of the lights that we had. Because he say he's going to be there in the afternoon. We give him the lights just in case if he needed to go out in the night. Did they go out in the night? Nobody knows. People, people just chilling. See, um, they, 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 they're setting up. Um, These are people who are concerned. You talking about setting up? What? What? Why you mean setting up? They put them in groups. What's going on there? We need some information and to start thinking and know where to go right now. Yep. I suspect the cameraman is trying to soften the, the thing of what she's saying. We're setting up where? How do you know setting up where? You seeing people moving to set up where? They're waiting for information all the time, but this is I pass there. Everybody just stand up. Some people come in, in nice dress stuff and what I don't know if this girl they're trying to get or whatnot. What they doing? And let us see how long we before we get this information. Because that's unacceptable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Has this information gone out? Has the police or individuals in charge told the, the citizens what is going on? All we heard Scarrett saying is that there's some information that 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 thing. Maybe that's that's where this guy came in. Maybe that's where this guy came in. He know the information right there. But I think we need to do better than that, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for talking to us. We need to do better than that. And according to Uncle... Look what that is, eh? That's a party. People like come and like eat you. and drink right there. Because that people that were dressed as though it's carnival. That's and I kind of agree with him. Because I've seen, I passed through. I see, you know. It's not carnival. These are the people, these are the people out there. Oh, this is when I reached out. Listen to what I asked. Because I, I remember the previous day when I asked, I saw people just chilling there. You can see a few people, you know, looking like they were in, they in groups and stuff to go different places. No, guys, keep in mind, I'm not saying that these guys are just staying there for staying sake. They are seemingly waiting for something. This was early in the morning. So, I understand that, but I'm asking him what's going on. Are you in groups? Are you in groups? Not yet. Okay. So, let's pull up. Okay, okay. Tell me yes, they just pull up. So just a crew of um you see what is happening there today is they want the search to be a uh, more coordinated effort than the last time. But I have seen I was in different places. We were in we were in Sultan, we were in um um Warner, we were in Bells. We go all in Bush in all kind of oh, you'll see that in the vlog tomorrow, brothers and sisters. Hopefully tomorrow I drop it. But we were in a number of places and we didn't well that officers came afterwards on this kind of thing. Man, I myself, I don't even know. Guys, what are your thoughts on the situation? Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys have a different thought process on this. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe you guys, some of you guys were there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, right there, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to download the app, the YouTube app, Mr. Licks Tube. And of course, that'll be in the first comment in the, in the comment box below. Mr. Licks vlog as well will be in the first comment below, as well as the aerial video that I did on the Warner situation. 
right there. So don't forget to check this out. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom bam.